Hi, Brendan. Hope you're okay. Um, maybe what we could do is start. Could you just um, briefly introduce yourself and your role within BAI? Of course. Uh, my name is Brendan O'Reilly, and I'm the Group Chief Technology Officer for BAI Communications. Thank you. And also, I think what would be useful, maybe could you just uh, outline a bit about what BAI does um, in the industry as well? Of course. So, uh, BI is a infrastructure provider for MNOs, so, so large transit uh, projects like the MTA, uh, currently TFL in London, uh, the TTC in Toronto. These are big transit authorities that were looking for a neutral host provider to, to help them build mobile communications and Wi-Fi on their transit systems. We also provide small cells, fiber, venue, DAS, products um, uh, across the industry uh, but originally we were not we came from Australia that's where our, our business was born and in Australia we provide broadcast services uh, in, in that country okay thank you okay um, so one thing the WBA has observed is that BAI has been acquiring uh, quite a few different companies around the globe uh, such as Zenfi and mobility and I believe a, a company here in the UK as well um, Perhaps could you just uh, outline a bit about BAI's growth strategy? Of course, I, I think it, it, it boils down to two things. Uh, I think uh, what we saw specifically through the pandemic is the reliance on uh, mobile communications, Wi-Fi communications to keep countries running uh, at a time of serious uh, national concern. Uh, and, and our growth strategy is around ensuring that we're able to provide end services to our customers. And our customers are generally uh, venue owners, transit authorities, MNOs. Uh, the recent acquisitions have, uh, you know, if we look at the US, it's about uh, turning ourselves into a national player through the acquisition of mobility. And the, the Zenfi acquisition had a really nice overlap with the business that we already have in New York with Transit Wireless. Uh, we also um, acquired a company called Signal Point, which provides private networks for military and Villicom in the UK and Ireland, which which was looking at um, coverage as a service or private network projects. And I think that's the, where we see some real uh, growth opportunities. You know, Wi-Fi was really the first private network, if you like. You know, private Wi-Fi was was a for, forebearer of private networks. And we see private networks as a, a real growth opportunity in the coming years. And, and that's the reason for those second set of acquisitions. Okay. But a lot of our growth strategy is really around ensuring that we continue to win the big projects that we have been winning and we continue to deliver satisfactorily, satisfactorily for our customers. Okay, thanks, Brennan. So um, Zenfi Mobility and BAI have been members in the WBA for some time. In fact, BAI has been working in the Alliance on several projects such as Wi-Fi 6 going you know, quite a way back. Um, why, I guess, um, is it important for BAI to be a, be a member and involved in the alliance? I think the WBA is 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 an alliance that is looking to solve real world problems, uh, real world technical problems, and is looking to do that through a consortium of players who are pushing towards you know a, a group of shared objectives. And our work with the WBA over a long number of years, and before I joined the company, has always been based on trying to do what's right by the, the wireless industry. So we, we've been grateful to be a member of the WBA for so long. And, you know, now we're recently we joining the, the board of directors. We're looking to solidify our support for the WBA um, because we see it as one of those organizations that deliver real world outcomes. And we're, we're grateful to be a part of it. Yeah. In fact, that was uh, where I was going to lead to next. I wanted to congratulate you on being appointed to the board. Thank uh, you. And again, just sort of, um, I, it's interesting to just understand the sort of motivation uh, for wanting to do that as well. What any aspirations, uh, any things that you like to personally, um, you know, work towards um, next year? Yeah, I, I, I think that, you know, the, um, the the world of communications is colliding and it's, you know, Wi-Fi and, and um, uh, mobile communications have for a long time been uh, working in tandem. And now the world of networks and IT are, are colliding with cloud and, you know, as we move into 5G and I think being part of a, of the WBA and, and being able to sit on its board and help ensure that we're moving in the right direction and uh, looking at the right things as, as those different worlds collide uh, and so that the wider industry is on the right path is something that I'm really excited to be a part of and, and hoping that I can contribute in some way. Okay, thank you. Um, 
one final question here. Um, a lot of our members are interested in the perspectives of, of, of CTOs. Um, and specifically, we, we try to sort of track uh, things along the lines of wireless trends, um, what happens in the current year and, and the future year as well. So I guess if, if you were to sort of look at, you know, future trends for 2023, uh, what do you think uh, we're likely to see uh, next year? I, I think um, if we look at the history of the networks, they've been built on three Cs. It's been, do we have the right coverage? Uh, do we have the right capacity? And are we delivering the right capability for the end user? And um, what we've seen in the last couple of years is that organizations, enterprise organization, venues, transit authorities uh, are now looking at the networks that have been provided for them, which in many ways, from a mobile perspective, have been networks that have been built for 10, 20, 30, 40 million people. They haven't specifically be, been built for the need of the enterprise customer. And so the fourth C that, that, that I'm seeing as a trend is control. Uh, and I think enterprise customers are looking to take control of their communications strategy and implementation and therefore private networks, which I, I said earlier on, you know, Wi-Fi has been the forebearer of private networks. Uh, I think the evolution of private networks is one of the most interesting trends of 23. It's a bit of a, it, it's an important year 23 for private networks because we've seen lots of implementations and single use cases. I think 23 will start to see wide scale deployments uh, and we'll start to see multiple use cases and lots of learning. So I, I think that element of control and giving control back to the end user um, and uh, and private networks play a, a key part in that. So that I'm really excited by private networks in in, in the next year. Okay, um, yeah, Brandon. I think that that brings us to the end of the uh, of the interview as well. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your support in the WBA. Um, very much looking forward to working with the BAI team. I've personally had some involvement with the team already. Been very impressed, uh, with, you know, with all the people as well. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to drive us and uh, you know have a lot to contribute in the alliance. So many thanks. No, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.